Hello, welcome to Blend On. Um, I'm Andrew Scheel and let's make a simple spider's web using the cloth simulator so that it bounces. Let's get into this. Shift A, Mesh, Circle. On the pop-up tab we want to have End Gone. Now tab into Edit Mode. Now we need to make some loop cuts but we can't have a single vertice in the center like a triangle fan because you won't be able to do control R so we have to inset it I and we want it in as close as possible so I do point nine nine enter then loop cuts control R five on the numpad enter and left click to select face mode I like to see my dots so come to this and press enter Hold Alt and left click to select this loop. Then come to Select and do Checker Deselect. Then we need to mess around with this a little bit to get it more random. Four will do. Uh, yeah, one there will do. Let me change it. That will do. Then X to delete the faces. Mm-hmm. Tab into object mode, and now we're going to give it a wireframe modifier. Wireframe, and change this to 0 0.005, make it thinner. And I like to also check relative, makes it look a bit more spider webby. Okay, apply. Yes, now tap back into edit mode. As you can see, it gives a, a double layer. So we need to join these. So let's go into wireframe, make sure in X-ray mode. Press C, select all of these. Oh, make sure it's in face select mode, sorry. And select all of these. Then X, delete faces. And now when we go into vertice mode, We want to join all of these, it makes a triangle. So I'm going to go into top view, select this and do F to fill. You can't see what's happening but it's filling the face. And I'm going to do it for all of these and come back to you. That's that done, all these faces are filled. Now we need to select all of these and make a vertex group, press C. And just go around and select him and make sure that you're in x-ray mode now control G assign to new group uh, where's the vertex group let's call it pin and tap back into object mode come over to object data properties object data properties and give it a cloth change this to rubber and scroll right down to where you see shape and select pin and I want a cache I want to start it at say 10 and end it at 100 change my timeline to suit that to go 100 press play and there you have a spiders web bouncing already how great is that but now if you wanted something to hit that to bounce on it you can do shift A mesh UV sphere scale uh, apply the scale control A scale let me get my and let's lift that up and smooth and now we can give this a cloth and it's going to go right through because this needs to have a collision and when you press but this drops right through so what we need to do for that for this is to turn on internal springs and go again 
and there we go. So I'm going to give it this is a quick material, something bright so you can see it, and give this another material. And then I am going to select this and I'm going to bake it. And I will come back when it's baked. Now that's all baked, and all we have to do is just test it now. Press play. And there you have your spider's web with an object. I know you don't get a red spider's web, but it's a simple tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you in the next one.